Hello everybody, my name is Vincenzo and I'm a value investor and a dividend investor. I decided to share with you my, my strategy and my portfolio. So if you want to know why I bought it uh, Realogy uh, a couple days ago, uh, just watch the video. It's about five minutes video in which I explain you the reason why I bought it. Uh, as, uh, um, as I'm not a financial advisor, this is not uh, uh, an invitation for you to buy or sell anything. It's just sharing my experience. So you can use this as a, your um, screening platform so uh, in this channel I will just discuss uh, what I bought it or what I'm really what I'm going to plan to buy or sell it in a very short time so I won't be speaking about any other things so what about Realogy? Realogy is the biggest network in uh, uh, of real estate in the US and globally is um, with a, a global position. For the statistic I've seen, 90% of the revenue comes from real estate. He owns uh, many brands. The, the most famous and the biggest chain is Century 21. It's uh, very widespread in the US. I'm sure if you're from the US, you've seen this brand many, many times. So it's a very dif uh, differentiated uh, business in the real estate with many brands and, and uh, the business model is uh, basically fees and uh, re realty. So this is the, the realty val reality valuation that I, the data that I collected, they are all publicly available, so there is no secret here. So the price is 5 USD, more or less, as today, and uh, it's been dropping till uh, 2015 from around 50, so it's one-tenth of the price it used to be, on the year is minus 78 percent so in one year the stock lost 80 percent of its value uh, this is very important for us because uh, it's uh, the, the actual uh, fundamental of the company it didn't really change so we are price to earning ratio of around four very good so in four years earnings you will pay the company will earn the price you are paying now it's very good evaluation if you compare with uh, the standard pools around 15 now, 15, 20, so very high compared to 4. Uh, the price to book, 0 0.26, so it means then for every 26 cents you get $1 value. It to me is uh, very good. Just try to imagine to open an agency, a real estate agency, and put in, paying $25,000 instead of 100000 and on the top of it, getting a 7% on the $25,000 uh, you paid. So even as a business, we actually be very good. The potential growth is about 25%. This is the estimate. So it doesn't really give us a, a sense. So it's a projection. It's a positive sign, but uh, we need to we make the deal when we buy it. So... Uh, the company doesn't have uh, huge debts. The credit ratio is uh, the credit rating for the um, company is BA plus, BB plus, a BA one. So uh, overall, is a healthy company. Uh, there have been changes in the management, and this is the financial statement. As you see, in the last uh, from 2015 to 2018, more or less the value are the same. The total revenue is between 5.7 billion to 6 billion. Uh, the gross profit is 2.7 billion in 2015, 2.7, 2.8 billions now in 2018. It's been slightly dropped this year, but it's not nothing major or catastrophic to justify a drop of 90% of the value. Uh, to support my thesis, I usually check insiders. The insiders, we have it. Um, a lot of insiders have been buying it in the last year, but in the last three months, there's been an increase of buying from uh, CEO, from um, important like uh, key figures inside the company. They bought around eight, nine. They, so we are buying half the price they bought it. So. Sometimes this, uh, when they buy the strategic, it's to send a sign uh, to people outside. But usually if you put the money in, it's because you believe in what you're doing. So to wrap up the reason why I bought it is good price to book ratio, good and stable dividend, at least so far. Lots of insider buying. 
expected earning growth, change in the management, so the cost cutting and new partnerships and innovations. You can find all this information online. I'm just wrapping up so to verify. So if you would like to, to know what I'm doing, what I'm buying, what I'm selling, what I'm researching, uh, but mostly informed with my, the change of my portfolio, I would invite you to um, subscribe to the channel and uh, to press the bell so you are notified when I publish it and you don't miss out when I drop some of my positions. Uh, usually it doesn't, it, I keep position for as long as needed so it could be a few years but I, it would be nice to be, for you to be advised why I sold it something and I bought it. So which price I bought it? I bought it the average price of 495 USD and uh, the portfolio weight of this company is 1%. I usually go from 1% to maximum 5%, not because I have any rules uh, then somebody is imposing to me, but mainly because I believe in differentiation and uh, to spread the risk uh, multiple assets and multiple um, stocks and companies. So I'm able to sustain some volatility and uh, I'm usually in a better mood <laughs> than if I concentrate everything in my portfolio. So thank you for watching and uh, I will let you, I will update you with uh, anything that comes to my mind and my new 